Hi everyone, this is Kura Dunain. Uh, you can just call me Q for short. And I've changed the channel name to Happy Q Coins because it will be about my hobby from now on. And so, short introduction, I am a freelance illustrator and budget binding. I don't have a consistent income because it's on a project basis. And so right off the bat, it's an irregular income. And another main point I want to say before I go on is that this is a very unconventional way of budgeting. So if you're looking for a way to budget in a proper way, you know, the conventional way, uh, I suggest that you go to other channels because there are so many out there who explain it really well and do it really well successfully. But this is just me uh, doing an unconventional way because I want to have more fun. This journey isn't just about um, saving lots of money and stuff like that. It's mainly, well, that's like sub part of it, but the main part of it is... Um, developing a good relationship with money overall so short like in a nutshell until now didn't have a good view of money like and then later on after reading the law of attraction books by esther and jerry hicks and reading happy money by ken honda and you know like those stuff those spiritual books i've started to learn that oh our thought and mind has a lot of power over our whole lifestyle and how things turn out. So this is main point of my budgeting journey is that it's a creative system that is designed specifically for me to have fun. And I'm hoping that this will be of some benefit to you guys. And previously, I actually, when I was visiting our home country Japan one of our home countries um, I bought this for fun and this is the budgeting plan as you can see what goes in what goes out how much what what's the category that I'm spending on and you can see the rest I haven't filled in because this was years ago and I've figured oh this isn't working for me like uh, even though I know the nitpickiness like Again, I am not married yet, inshallah hoping to get married. So once I get married, the usual adult, more like, you know, responsibilities like electric bills, uh, grocery bills, you know, water bills that will come into play. But because we are living as a family, we don't, un unless we marry, we tend to not leave the house because we support each other. Um, until we build our own family. And so, but even then, you know. We're a family. It's a family system. So anyways, uh, the adult kids in this house still haven't married yet. and But we do pitch in at times. And for me, it's not the bills. The, the My brothers and my father does the bills. So electric bills, water bills, gas bills, it's all taken care of. And if I want to do petrol, for example, I used to have a car. <laughs> I used to my father. But now we don't have one. But, you know, if I have like gas, bill, like petrol bills, and if you do live streaming services, which I don't, I have email services. So I use a private email provider and that has like you pay for it, right? That's also bill for me. So that's a personal bill. So I have a bill folder here. And so if you're someone who has a family and you have more stuff to put in, then you obviously add more envelope system. But... I believe conventional system would be better for you because there will be like lots and lots of categories but I'll just use one binder um, it'll have the sinking funds the piggy banks the coin banks over here like you must have seen this right I love it uh, would be my savings generally right and the spending will be explained with my wallet here and so these are the basic things I will be using the main thing is the binder um, I went full in by the way <laughs> I love Etsy so you don't have to have a pricey binder this was handmade uh, it's actually from China uh, from a seller in Etsy um, 
really great job at the hands craftsmanship. I love these stuff. So when I go in, I just go in because it's about having fun and enjoying the process. If you're not having fun, it really trickles onto the other aspects, areas of your life. So one main thing of this channel is to just have fun and be happy and intentional at the same time. And so this divider and I'm going to explain and get on to it. So, um, but I want to explain this easily for those who are new and don't care about conventionality if you guys want to see the unconventional way and so be it and so first of all wallet i need to take out my driver license because i forgot to. okay so this is my wallet right and at the moment it's empty right and over here is the general cash that i have right over here so what i've done is i've made from printed stock paper, I made different sections for when I go outside. So, I don't know if you can see, over here it says yum, which is food. I love food, I'm a big foodie. So anything food related, even if it's me pitching in for grocery bills, I'll, I'll put it in this category, yum. Over here is the outing. If I wanna buy clothes on that day, and I have a clothes envelope, which I do, I would put it in here. So I haven't labeled it over here. Usually people do label it for more efficiency. It's all up to you. And over here is a heart. If I, uh, for me, it's like an extra happy money over here. So it's not specifically spending for myself, it's for others. So I'll put it here. So I have these three categories over here. And because my wallet is in the straight one, it's like a folded one. I have adjusted to its length and I'll just put it here. So for example, uh, over here I have some a bunch of money and let's say, oh by the way I don't do budget plans as well. I had to say that in the beginning but yeah, I don't do budget plans. Like I mentioned it didn't work for me so but I know the average of eating out for example and so I want to eat out so I'll put $50 for food okay $50 this is the right way up so I'm going to put it here $50 so food related I don't know if you can see it. so food related stuff here $50 anything food I'm gonna go to this tab and get the $50 here right I can add to it if I want but this is an example for now and let's say other shopping stuff clothing and stuff like that I'll just put $10 for now and so when I'm going out and I want to get something I won't go to the food section I'll go to the miscellaneous section over here in the middle and that will be for now ten dollars and I have happy money I'll put ten dollars here for now and so the love heart happy money which I've labeled will have ten dollars here I'm not sure if you can see properly it's getting cloudy but yeah so that's basically it. I've put that amount of money here and that's a nutshell of the daily wallet and so the main stuff is this the budget binder so let's go with this one um, I absolutely love this here's where the unconventional system starts right it's using this pocket <laughs> you don't have to have this pocket you can have a special envelope over here so these are the pouches envelopes and these are the base the sinking funds so the sinking funds are the money you save for future use right and you can also if you don't have enough and if you happen to carry this with you you can just take it out from here and put it there um but yeah <laughs> it's basically saving for the future kind of thing it's not far future it's, it could be near future but anyways this envelope is a foodie envelope anything awesome dine out it'll go here right and so let's say for future foodie 
adventure, I want to save $20. So, oh, you know what? I am so sorry. I'm being disorganized. I have this cash organizer for a reason. Let's just use that. I don't know why I didn't use that. So let's just go. Um, right now, currently, in my hand for the sinking funds and the savings, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100, what? Again, oh my goodness, 2, 4, 6, 8, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 205. I have 205 at the moment. Don't know when the income will come because I'm currently working in a project. And so, inshallah, what it, it is what it is. So I am going to separate these, right? So $5, I'm going to put it here because lowest denomination is $5. And then this is the $10. I am going to put it here. And the rest is $20. I am going to put it here. And so you can see the money over here. And before I go on, the stun conventional system. Okay, I'm so sorry if I'm all over the place. <laughs> this is a pocket for my bank. In my bank, I have. A decent amount I don't have all the money in the bank because I don't feel my money is safe in the bank everyone everyone else has their own safetyness if you believe your money is safe in the bank then please go for it you can just use a prop money and stuff like that but for me prop money yeah people put prop money here and the real money in the bank so this unconventional thing is not used but for me I don't use, like, I don't see bank as a safety vault for me. So this is more like for the bills and stuff and for the online payment and for the online shopping. So this is the bank. And in my bank account, this is the prop money which I made out of non paper. I have two, four, six, eight, a hundred, two, four, six. I'm sure I had 200. Again, two, four, six, eight, a hundred, two, four, six, eight, two hundred. Okay, yes, I had two hundred bills in me. So this represents two hundred dollars in my bank account. Digital money. Two money, uh, two hundred dollars, right? Prop money. Let's say prop money. And I need to put, I want to put one in my bills folder so over here for my email bills and stuff like that right if you have streaming services and electricity water you can do that so I'm gonna take $20 for now and I'm going to put it in my bills envelope now I know that I have $20 allocated to my bills and the leftover money which I can use if I really need to use my debit card is the rest which is 118 and I can put these in other stuff but I don't want to empty it entirely because I might do online shopping like Etsy so um, this is just a buffer thing and so back to this foodie clothing personal you know, like books and stuff um, <coughs> I'd rather have a book envelope for myself but I forgot to make a book label, so I'm just putting in personal overall projects. You're gonna see it on this channel later, inshallah. Um, giving, it involves charity. I prefer to give to local charity. Uh, I know they are trustworthy charity organizations overseas, but that's a talk for another video if you really want to hear my perspective and why I chose local. But yeah, if I'm going to give charity, I prefer to give it local. So that's why physical cash will also go here. Uh, travel. I want to experience travel. <laughs> like we've always went to our hometown, but I actually want to experience travel in a different country for once or a different place. You know, perhaps a new chapter of life. So travel. Never, I wasn't a traveler at all. And bills. And we have $20 in bills. So, 
we are going to start putting the sinking funds on this first ever episode. So, uh, this is also unconventional. I don't have a particular way of putting things. So I'm going to do it from backwards. So for travel, I'll put 10 for now. And no, I don't do tracking. Um, it is useful for some people, but for me, I'm highly visual. So I'll just go on and count and decide from there. And if I have a goal, I will put a paper with the goal in it. But for now, I'm going to add as much as I can, when I can. And yep, giving, we're going to give giving some $10. Projects. So I have an Etsy shop right now and I love making prop money. So not this kind proper kind right and so I need some budget for my projects to print out the prop money and stuff like that you know shipping and all that so I am going to give my projects I guess 20 I don't know why I'm going all in but I am going all in <laughs> let's just do 20 because printing isn't cheap and there's personal mm. I think I'll give 15 towards personal. And so now I can get a small book, but a proper book in Australia is like in the 20s, like $20, $30. So I can just add to it if I want to. But for now, this week, I'm just putting in 15. So you can do this on a weekly basis or on a daily basis or on a monthly basis. It's really up to you. What, whichever works for you. For me, it's if my income is irregular, I'm going to be doing it irregular, like different occasions. It's like you won't see me uploading on a fixed timetable. So clothing, clothing is very expensive these days. We like to get good clothes. So I am going to put 40 for this one. This is part of personal, but this is like just clothing. So if I want shoes, I have to take it from here only. And if I want a skirt, I have to take it from here only. I'm usually not a fashion clothes person, but we, because we've done a big cleanup of our closets, I've realized that, you know, I need to be more my, like myself and, you know, accept who I am as I am. And so I've decided to go with skirts, inshallah. Yep, I wasn't a skirt lady. <laughs> foodie. Okay, foodie, 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 foodie. 20. Of course, foodie's getting a 20. Another 20, 40. Let's just give it a 40. Of course, it's getting 40. And so yeah, this is pretty much it. This is like an example, but also me in real life doing this thing. And to make it more fun, usually people do saving challenges. And I I like saving challenges into the sinking funds rather than the saving folder. Um, if I want to do a big saving thing, I'm going to put in this piggy bank. And for me, I've also designed... Let me put this aside. I've designed savings challenge cards, scratch cards for my Etsy. This is a prototype. I've done some mistakes and this sticker is icky and I can't give it to anyone. I'm going to use it myself. You see that tape? Yep. So if you're curious, that is my, I don't know if you can see, that is my Is this on like a mirror? I don't know if you can see. I, f I can see myself in a mirror reflection. It's happyqcoins.etsy.com if you can't read that. And let's do this. So, so to make it fun, people usually have like a coloring thing and stuff like that. But for me, I'm just going to use what I have right now, which is this, my prototype. And so I love scratch cards. But if you can see... 
that one is that one and that is like ten dollars so because I've got ten dollars I am going to put ten dollars into my savings okay sorry about that someone called on my phone and so back to it so for my savings challenge what I do is I put it in this piggy bank this piggy bank over here I'm gonna put it in this rather than a binder and if this gets full then I'm going to put it in a folder or in a safe locker for my money and that's where my stuff will go a big amount of cash I'd rather put it in like a locker but yeah that's when we get a locker safe my brother has a good safe locker and so my money can also go there and that's how I feel safe but anyways savings challenges money it will go here yes it's ten dollars and so because we got ten dollars over here what i can do is i can get a ten dollar over here and i can just fold them fold it here and this saving challenge i only do it when i'm in a really happy mood and stuff like that like you know because when you're in a good mood it gets reflected in every possible way if you're in a bad mood same thing it gets reflected in every possible way can you see how happy this piggy bank is because i was so happy when i got it never got a piggy bank before old me wouldn't have gotten it to be honest but these days i'm like more open-minded and so i want to do another one because i want to scratch these away yeah. I got this cute, um, I don't know if you can see, focus, this cute cappuccino kind of thing and that is $35 so that means I have to put $35 in here. So this is how it works, you can do these kind of challenges, some people do coin flip challenges, uh, I, wanted, I didn't want to do it here because, okay, let me just put $35 first. Or, I don't have to put it here. You can also use these saving challenges to put it into your sinking funds. And so if I'm like such a cheapskate towards myself, I can just put the savings in the personal folder instead too. So over here I got 35. I can just put 35 here too because this is my sinking fund. Sinking funds basically for me means saving to be used. So I believe that's basically what sinking fund is. So 35, let me check. I have 20, I have 10, I have 5. Perfect. Okay, I can buy a book, but I am not buying it yet because. I want to be more intentional in spending money on stuff for personal as well and getting only high quality stuff. So we have 5, 10, 20, 30, uh, 30 plus 2 is 50. <laughs> we have $50 already in our personal account. And so I guess I'll finish this sinking fund budgeting think here until here for now and I'm gonna close this and what do we do with these well I can put these in my wallet my day whoops hey please don't forget to close your wallet all right okay so <laughs> don't forget to close your coin stuff anyways so what I can do is I can add this to my foodie adventure slot. Well, let me get it out so you guys can see it. Well, so move this there and over here. So hopefully, okay, so hopefully you can see now. Yeah, hopefully this is in focus. So this is what's in my wallet. So I have $50 for the yum i have ten dollars for the miscellaneous and like what if i see something awesome on the shops and i want to get it 
and I have $10 for the happy money. If I see someone who is in need or needs or wants some money, I can just give it from the heart section as well. And so foodie, I can add five more dollars for the shopping sports free. I can add fifteen dollars. And for the happy money, I can add the last five dollars. And these money can sit tightly in my wallet. So this is how they are. And I get my folding wallet and I put it here. So this is how I do it. Others have like awesome wallets to make it easier and where they can actually label the like accordion wallets where they can label stuff. But for me, instead of an accordion, since this is not an accordion one, I've just created these inserts so it's easier. And yeah, I can clearly see here, the lighting isn't good at the moment in the video, but I can see when I'm using them. And very looking forward to this. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm gonna end the video here. Obviously, Toasty Box has to be in the video because when I'm happy, it's a lovely day, I put a coin. So, this is another savings, but this is like purely for happy vibes. I got a 20 cents over here. It barely fits, just right. 50 cents can't fit, so I'm gonna be putting 50 cents here if I want, if I get a 50 cents when I'm happy. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And this was basically the whole unconventional budgeting video episode one. And if you're interested in this system at all, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and follow me on other platforms. Like I've even made Instagram from the PC. I don't have a smartphone, but I figured that if I'm doing Etsy, maybe just go on and make Instagram. So I have an Instagram account, it's Happy Q Coins, uh, same name as this YouTube channel, the new name of this YouTube channel, and Etsy as well, it's Happy Q Coins, and you might see me, you may see me, inshallah, in the future, uploading new listings. And I love making prop money, I'm enjoying it at the moment, and I can't wait to share it with you all soon. And so I hope you're having a wonderful, lovely day. If you think this looks fun, the putting cash into envelopes, please start. You don't have to have a good binder. You can just use an actual envelope, paper envelope, and you'll do great. And you can upgrade it later with one of your envelopes, which has binder or upgrading budget money, right? It's fun. And please share with me your stories on your budgeting journey and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.